right, so we talked about um, I, I've usually used to call this like breaking up the chords because we're, we're not playing. We talked about doing this finger picking exercise with a pick, which is put a D chord on, down on the fourth string, up on the second is what you want. But with this thing, this kind of partial strum thing, you don't, you're, you're kind of breaking up whatever chord you're playing. In this case, it's a D chord. It's only four strings. So let's say I broke that up into quadrants, what would it be? Basically about one string, right? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't have to be only one string. It can just kind of be kind of down on the down on the fourth, up. If I hit two strings, it's okay. Then down, aiming for the third. Then if I hit the second string, it's okay. Then up, I can hit I can hit the D string. I mean the uh, B string too. So I could go. strumming all six strings. I'm not deadening the sixth string. And all these at the same time. That's a nice sound, but it's just a heavier sound. This is delicate kind of sound. And that's what that song is. It's delicate. Right. Now I'm going to go to the G string. G chord, rather. Right? So when I go to the G chord, I break it up into, say, quadrants. exactly going you know we could do that but that doesn't it, it's it's it, it, that's not this we're looking at kind of a brush style here. Exactly. so I'm aiming for this bottom six string on the G but let's say I hit it then I get the G, the G string too and also bad thing is, I'm playing down and up picks. I'm just playing two, three strings at a time on each down and up pick. I'm not playing, which is what how, how I start people because I want them to get the feeling of the rhythm. Right. Now you've got that. So now we're going to take that rhythm, that down up strum, and we're going to squash it into a smaller range. So before we were strumming from you know, up here somewhere, through the all six strings, down here, through all six, up. Our range of our hand was like that. Now we're going, you can see that the rate, and also, it's hard to see with my jacket on, but there's more wrist involved here. You don't need a big heavy hand, do you? But you don't need just wrist, you don't want to be off floppy in your wrist either. You just want to, see the wrist is kind of a, the wrist, the arm kind of goes with the wrist. Uh, now I'm going to go to the A chord. So this one I'm probably going to concentrate on. That first down, down, down. It's going to move from the sixth string. I'm going to aim for the fifth string. What happens if I miss and hit the sixth string? Not a darn thing. I'm just not going to hit all six strings, which that's, I think, what you were not liking, the sound of, of all this. You could tell that it was too much yeah. in the song. And, you, and, and so, but it's still, the rhythm is still... When you play this A chord, if you wanted to, you could take your thumb over the top and deaden that one out so that but you don't want to you don't want to fret it. Yeah, they have a difficult. And you're, you're doing that A, but you got to learn the other A too. You have to work on that. Okay. And then you can get the nice sound of the, of the E string. There you go. So that's kind of the equivalent of the strummer's finger pick. That's there. really pretty. Man. All right, cool. So do we need more on here? Or is that going to do? No, that's, that's good. All right.
I think of something else, I'll do it. Um, or do you want me to do a practice thing on it? No. No, that's 